a revolution is unfolding in the world today. We are witnessing the emergence of disruptive technologies that are at the cusp of overtaking the existing military concepts and they require us to rethink our battlefield strategies. The future battlefields will not just be confined to air, land and water like how India fought five wars since independence, but multi-domain and cross-domain battlefields with the infusion of technology will take over the war front in the coming years. Digital transformation of defense. ये थीम और ये विषय वर्तमान के साथ ही भविष्य के लिए भी बहुत महत्वपूर्ण है दुनिया की तमाम डिफेंस फोर्सेस नए टेक्नोलॉजी को इवॉल्व कर रही है इंटरनेट ऑफ थिंग्स हो या बिग डेटा एनालिटिक्स ऑटोनोमस सिस्टम हो या 3D प्रिंटिंग आने वाले कल ही हर टेक्नोलॉजी पर भारत में आज रिसर्च एंड डेवलपमेंट का काम निरंतर चल रहा है सर्जिकल स्ट्राइक्स व्हिच इंडिया डिड ऑन टेररिस्ट पैथ्स अक्रॉस इट्स बॉर्डर्स यूज्ड ड्रोन टेक्नोलॉजी एंड प्रूव्ड दैट वॉर फील्ड्स हैव बिकम एडवांस्ड मीनवाइल द अटैक्स इन सऊदी पाइपलाइंस वर डन विद वेरी लो कॉस्ट ड्रोन्स व्हाइल दे हैव द बेस्ट मिसाइल डिफेंस सिस्टम इन सऊदी अरेबिया दे आल्सो प्रूव दैट विद टेक्नोलॉजी डिस्ट्रप्शन द वॉरफेयर फील्ड्स एंड टैक्टिक्स have changed the secure and timely flow of data and intelligence have become the lifeline of modern militaries now the theater of war are rapidly changing to encompass cyber and space landscapes artificial intelligence autonomous systems addictive manufacturing and quantum science but a few arenas that are at the forefront of digital transformation in military affairs The battlefields of the future will be more dangerous than ever and the threat will be like never before. It is going to be the era of accelerated human progress where the enemies use evolutionary technology at warfare. It would be different, I think radically different from anything we've seen. I believe that intelligence surveillance reconnaissance ISR is extremely important. that if you see a battlefield and the enemy doesn't you win and therefore what kinds of ships or tanks or airplanes you have matters far less and therefore we may not see large force distributions you may in fact see only after the war has begun how strong a nation is because they could see a battlefield and the other side couldn't everyone is thinking about and talking about cyber attack what we see in the world today of cyber hacking is child's play as compared to what could be done with a national cyber attack we must be very cautious about how we see potential enemies and we need to be thinking about how we protect our country from that kind of asymmetric warfare So as the shift will happen at the war front weapons which were earlier made stronger will now be made more smarter target centric and more adaptive so let us analyze the trends that will stay ahead of the curve in the future at warfare fields we have already seen game changing evolutionary technologies that can provide a decisive edge over an arbitrary these include robotics robotics will change society and labor model markets that will impact the character of war AI-based robotic equipments will enable them to make decisions on spot, giving this technology an edge at the war fields. Quite different from the conventional system, it has its own uh, uh, artificial intelligence inside. In future, we are anticipating that it will be more like uh, uh, instead of actually a human going to the war front, it will be more like the robotic soldiers will be sending. So this is just a start of that. actually uh, in fact we are building products uh, that will be more deployed uh, in future the if you see the shift now earlier it was like uh, you are making the weapons more uh, stronger more powerful uh, now it is the time where we are making weapons more smarter so it is like uh, uh, making it more uh, target centric ai based intelligent vessels will prevent attacks such as the 2611 
As these vessels have the robust command control systems, these automatically detect if there is an intruder and go and check. So these vessels have become the eyes and ears in the maritime. These underwater drones can reach areas where human intervention is not possible. They are latched with AI technologies and are very critical for inspection and surveillance systems. As the forces of tomorrow are likely to reduce human hands, these drones will become the eyes in the maritime in future. This vessel has an AI-based command control system. So it will automatically detect if there is an intruder inside and go and interdict it in the first place. Generally, we follow the voice instructions of the pilots and the air crew in the airplanes. However, machines too will follow instructions of the pilots now. Voice control systems in the cockpits have come up which will reduce the pilot's manual work. With this AI-based technology, the pilots will be able to focus on attacks and landing in high altitude at the war fronts. With voice activated control system, pilot works get reduced. So he can concentrate on major tasks like attack, uh, landing, etc. Earlier we have to press uh, separate keys for the invoking some of the pages. So now with this VACS, he can just say the commands and he can get the desired pages. It has developed the algorithm such a way that any uh, commands can be recognized. Let it be female, let it be uh, any palette. It will become the force of these forces, like HLV said, force of the forces. So this system will be also a force of the forces, because with this, uh, we, uh, success rate will be very high. With smart body suits, most of the wars can be stopped before the war even begins. Surgical strikes have seen the light in the recent past. With zero possibility to communicate during such war fronts, smart body suits have come to the rescue of the soldiers. These smart body suits allow gestures to communicate within the soldiers, allowing the enemies to go for a bluff. The Indian Army currently uses five types of guns. With technology advancing at a rapid pace, Indian entrepreneur has developed a solution which has module technologies of all these five guns. So one solution for all five modular guns. These guns can be converted into another model as per the mission needs. Indian Army use presently uses five different types of weapons for its needs. The carbine, the DMR, LMG, assault rifle and battle rifle. What we are offering is a single solution that can replace all these five different weapon, uh, weapons like the Draguno, Insas, Insas, LMG, Sterling, Carbine and AK variants. So one solution for all five needs and uh, this is completely modular. You can change simply change certain modules in this rifle to convert it to a different weapon uh, according to the mission needs. The manual tracking of the Indian coastline spread is impossible. To curb this, automation technologies have been developed which in real time can actually detect intrusions. Perimeter watch and intrusion systems. So these AI-based intrusion systems can track and detect drones, boats and human intrusions. This technology is also implemented on land. So since many years, arms have been dropping across the Punjab border. These technologies can detect these intrusions and take corrective action even before the war will begin. The automation technology is extremely critical for the future. AI technology is creeping into their existing product line manually and you need these kind of uh, emerging technologies like uh, artificial intelligence, internet of things, right, where in real time you can actually sense, detect and take corrective action. Cyberspace is also likely to be fiercely contested in future, with threats of cyber attacks to critical national infrastructure. Non-kinetic, non-contact means are likely to see more engagements. So until now, wars in India have been fought with the help of human intelligence and soldiers on fields, but now, the armed forces would need to be conscious about the dynamic and rapid technological advancements in space, its militarization and increasing integration of space capabilities with future war fighting.